Hi, this is Tim from Flanders Kennels. This is my Borbo Boy Roscoe. Today we're going to be doing a live demonstration of some semen testing equipment that's available from our friends at K9P4. So the test that we're using today is going to be the pet count sperm quality test. And this tests your dog's progressive modal sperm count, which is the sperm cells that are needed in order to do a successful artificial insemination. So this kit, very reasonably priced, under $100, much cheaper than you going to the vet and having them collect for you. And the results are very easy to use. So we're going to take out this test kit. And this is the tester. It has uh, pretty easy to follow instructions. Comes with a collection bag. Show you. So, this collection bag is probably fine for your smaller sized males, but for a dog Roscoe size, it's going to be way undersized. It's also going to be the harder vinyl, which I find tends to be more of an irritant to their penis. It comes with uh, gloves. This is a personal preference on whether you want to use gloves. I find that it irritates the dog more to use them. Um, if it makes you feel more comfortable, go ahead and use them, but I'm just going to use clean hands when I do my collection. And then it's going to come with the syringe that you're going to use for mixing, as well as drawing up the semen, and it has a collection cup. So the way that this test, this test kit would work, if you use it as is, you can collect in this cone and then pour the contents into the collection cup or you can just collect directly into the cup. Now, From my experience, collecting into a cup, it's really easy for the dog to move his foot and then this gets knocked over. So what I'm going to do is put this inside of a small glass and then that way it can't tip and if it does spill it's going to catch the semen inside of there so we'll still be able to use it for the testing equipment so if you don't want to use the collection cup our friends at k9p4 have some amazingly priced ai kits that you can buy from their website there's the k9 sperm collection kit it's a 10 count it's got syringes collection bags um, o-rings to fasten and then an instruction guide and then we have the canine artificial insemination kit, and this is the large breed one. And this has got uh, syringes, lube, uh, gloves, and instructions. So, and um, most importantly, it's got pipettes. So the biggest thing that you're going to need is if you're going to collect into a vial, you're going to need a pipette to draw it up because most males are not going to fill up a whole vial, and you don't want that much of their semen anyway. You just want the sperm rich fraction, which is going to be the cloudy part. As soon as it starts going clear, then you're going to want to stop collecting. So I'll show you what's inside these kits. So here's a 20 mil syringe. And then I already put one of these together. So the bags that K9P4 has are awesome. These are XL bags. They'll fit around probably 99% of any male dog out there. So the, the biggest problem with the smaller bags with giant breeds is that the bulbous glandus, which some people call the knot, is going to swell up. And it's if you use a small bag, you're only going to be able to put the shaft of their penis inside the bag. And it really irritates them. That's the most sensitive part of their penis, so it may hinder your collection. So you really want to have this wide part right here so that you can hold it all the way behind the bulbous glandus when you're doing your collection. And these bags are great because they're silky and they don't irritate the dog at all. So once this is the o-rings that come with it. So these are just to help hold the bag on there so it doesn't go flying off while you're collecting and then you lose all the semen in the vial. So you could use um, this bag to do the collection and then you could use one of the pipettes that comes with the artificial insemination kit 
to draw the semen up out of the vial and then put that into your cup to stir. So your preference, I already did a video showing how to use this type of collection. So we're just gonna do a straight collection right into the cup this time. Uh, just if you were only buying this kit, just to show you that you could do it this way. This is probably the safer way to ensure that you're not gonna lose your semen though. So uh, I'm gonna do the demonstration for you with Roscoe. And then we're gonna take our sample and put it into the analyzer. So this is a used one here. I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. When you get it, it's gonna be on this two, or it might be just in this black part. So you're gonna take your sample and put it in to the sample well in the upper right. And then it's gotta sit in there for 30 minutes. So when you're, once you've put in the half mil sample, you're gonna click this forward which you hear it click, and it'll display a 30 minute. So you need to set a 30 minute timer. Then after the 30 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to check this. And when you're ready to check it, you're gonna bring this all the way down till it clicks all the way back. And it'll show a magnifying glass. And then you're gonna look at your sample. So the sample well is right above the viewing glass and you'll see a different shade of purple based on the quality of your sample. So dark purple means that you have over 210 million progressive modal sperm cells, which is what's necessary to ship out uh, for an artificial insemination or to use for a side-by-side -side insemination. So we'll grab an unused one. And you wanna make sure that you keep this flat. So after I do the collection on Roscoe, we're gonna come back and use our syringe to draw out half a mil from the sample cup. We'll put it into the well, and then we're gonna slide this forward. And then after 30 minutes, we're gonna check this. You have a five minute window to check it. And then that'll tell you the results of your dog's sperm quality. Okay, so whenever I do a collection, I always do a quick clean out of the mail just in case they have any urine inside their urethra. So you see them drip out there as I stimulated the back of the bulbous glandus. That'll get anything out that's in there. And now I'm ready to do the collection. So this will be a little bit trickier with the cup. So we'll miss the first part, but then we should be fine after that. So you're going to want to grip with your thumb and forefinger behind the bulbous glandus, and then you're going to Stimulate behind that and then pull back and the male may start thrusting just like this Okay, and then you're ready to collect so You want to hold firmly Behind the bulb and Then the male you can stimulate him or Sometimes they'll just thrust on their own. So we're gonna keep this cup under to catch sperm so once he's fully erect he should be giving us uh, plenty of sample here and then we'll be able to hold him so there we go so you can see we're getting sperm rich change positions here So, and one thing you may need to do is you can stimulate the head of their penis a little bit if they're not ejaculating and that'll encourage them to ejaculate more. So we don't need a ton for this testing equipment. We only need a half mil. So you can see from using the collection cup that using the bags is a lot easier.
So the males will be pretty excited when you first start, and then they should calm down like he's doing right now, so. So you may have to hold on tight. And a lot of males like to move around a lot when they're being collected, because this simulates being in a tie, and that's what they would normally do. So we're just going to keep collecting here. So, and you'll see having this cup inside a vessel really helps a lot. So anything that's spilled out of there, we're not losing. Okay, so I'm going to let Roscoe go here. We should have enough for the analyzing equipment. So you can just let your male go. You want to keep an eye on him and make sure that his erection goes down okay. Sometimes uh, the end of their prepuce, which is the, which is the sheath, um, can get folded inward, and that can cause them pain. So... Uh, if they whine a little bit, it's normal. Um, ones that are collected a lot, you shouldn't have any issue at all. And generally, they'll lick themselves to go down. But if they don't, you're going to want to use a little bit of lubricant. And then just massage the end of the prepuce back over the penis after it's deflated. So we're going to take Roscoe back too. And then we'll, while we're doing our test, we'll keep an eye on him. Okay, so you're going to want to draw up half a mil exactly with the syringe after mixing it. So we're going to stir it. Make sure we have an even mix. And then we're going to draw up half a mil. And you want to make sure there's no air bubbles in this, so I've got a little bit too much here, so we'll just go back. So now we have half a mil. We're going to put that into the sample well. So then you want to do this slowly. Okay, so once you've got that in the sample well, then you're going to follow the arrow until that clicks. And now this says display is 30 minutes, so we're going to set a 30 minute timer. In 30 minutes, we're going to come back to this and check it and see how Roscoe's sperm quality is. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and we're going to check our sample. So we're going to drop this back. And right below the sample well, you'll see fluid move in to our viewing window. So this is where we're looking, right above the magnifying glass and uh, between below that sample well. So you want to compare it to the purple next to it, which it's pretty close not quite as dark so he's probably just under the 210 million threshold and we can enhance that with the uh, glucosamine aka green lip muscle supplements to get that number higher most likely but i hope this gave you a good idea of what to expect when you use this test so we're looking for dark purple and we have in between the light purple and the dark purple so it's not Terrible, but not as good as it could be. He probably would be suitable for a live cover, but not for artificial insemination. I hope this demonstration helped, and thanks very much for watching.